Good afternoon, CIS 279W7, Windows 7 configuration students. This is a demonstration of exercise 1.2, upgrading Windows Vista to Windows 7. Remember, as we complete these labs, the first thing we're going to want to do is initiate and start up our RWDC01. This is our domain controller, and any client that we initiate afterwards, of course, will connect to this domain controller and become a member on the domain. We had initially created a NYCCL1. This is a Windows Vista business client. Uh, and I've, of course, attached it to the domain controller. At this point, we're going to upgrade this using setup files that are located on the domain controller. So I'm simply going to go into start. I'm going to start typing. You'll see I've already done this lab once. So there is the Windows 7 Pro. Now remember your book calls for WIN7ENT for Enterprise. I don't have Enterprise, we have Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And this is going to initiate going out and accessing the setup files via the domain controller. So here it is. I'm going to hit install. I will be pausing this video every now and then because you don't need to sit here and watch it as it as it does its thing. So, so here it is. It's set up as copying the temporary files over to over to my client machine, and I'll be right back as soon as that's done. As you can see now, it's going to go and say setup is starting. It's going to bring up this screen here. Get updates. Of course, we're going to say do not get updates because again, this machine is not connected to the internet. We'd get some errors if we did that. Here's the license agreement. Of course, if you've never read one of these, you should. It is part of your job to understand Windows licensing. Windows licensing can be complex. We're going to select accept the license terms and next. Now at this point, it's going to ask if we want to do a custom or a clean. We are going to do an upgrade. Of course, my recommendation is always do clean installs in a business environment. Here it says upgrading Windows will affect the following. Yes, we know. Next. And then it starts copying the files. So this is a long process. That's why I wanted to do this lab for you. I do encourage you to do this lab, however, but I wanted to give you a demonstration video of it as well. So I'm going to pause this while it takes forever to copy the Windows file and continue the installation. Just a quick look that, as you can see, it is copying the files. I'm at 47%, 48%, and it's get, and then it'll gather the setup information and so on. So, pause it again. As you can now see, all of the files have been installed. This was like a 55-minute process here, and the machine is restarting as we speak. And of course, students, it's still going. I, I do want to mention a couple things. Of course, an upgrade takes longer because we are gathering files, settings, programs, etc., that are on the machine. Then we're going to transfer all those, as you can see it's doing now, transferring files, settings, and programs. Whereas in an Active Directory infrastructure, the thing we would want to do would be to essentially uh, create a new machine you know, build a brand new machine from scratch and then using Active Directory have the user log in, make sure we have roaming user profiles, make sure we have all the programs going, etc. The first time the user logs in, their profile, all their settings uh, and files are brought over. So of course it's a much faster process and it's cleaner. As you can see it's now set up as uh, gonna restart the computer. So the process is done. Now that it's restarted, it's going to continue to transfer the files and settings from the old, quote, old Vista machine onto the new Windows 7 installation. Once it completes the file transfers, it will go ahead and restart one more time. Uh, we're heading in the right direction. Setup is now preparing the computer for the first use, per se. At that point, it's going to come up. It's going to ask for a product key. I, of course, I'm going to pause this while I put in the product key so that that's not available to the YouTube universe. So 
So as you can tell, I've gone ahead and typed in the key. I then press the Enter key and get to this screen, Set Up Windows. Uh, I can go ahead and use recommended settings, etc. I'm going to just say, Ask Me Later. Uh, my mouse isn't working, so I'm going to go down to Ask Me Later using the arrow key. Hit the Enter key. It gives me the date and time. I can then make sure that that's correct and continue on. It'll finalize the process of installing Windows and bring it up. I can do the Control Alt Delete command. I'm back in here and I'm going to go ahead and log in just as administrator. It'll prepare my desktop and I'll have an upgraded Windows 7 professional machine. It then goes through once it completes the setup of the desktop, sets up personalized settings for Windows Desktop Update, at which point what's, once it's done it has logged me in. This is my new Windows environment upgraded from Windows Vista Business in our case and we are ready to go. So at this point we would go ahead see if there was any more drivers that we needed to upgrade or do anything with and then of course start utilizing the environment. So this was about a six and a half seven minute video that demonstrated a lab that takes well I'm now two hours in so hopefully this shortens your time and we can get on with more productive things. Thanks.